Hi everybody, welcome to the YouTube channel dedicated to the construction, planning, and building of the Lake Erie and North Shore Railroad. This is episode 22, and this is going to be a good one. We're going to build some gasoline storage tanks in the beginning of the episode, but then we're going to shift and we're going to build some really, really cool industrial fencing. That's right, industrial fencing, and I'm excited about that. And uh, it looks really cool, it looks really good. So uh, without any ado, we're going to get to Railroad Soul. Across the prairies to see Next in our series of the uh, building the ethanol plant, we are going to be building this component, which is basically uh, a fuel storage, a bunch of fuel storage tanks. Now, the, in, in the production of ethanol, they need, once the, uh, once the alcohol has been um, evaporated and brought to about uh, 200 proof, they need to put a denaturant in it. And the denaturant, in this case, is going to be gasoline. So these are our gasoline storage tanks that we're going to use. Now, I'm going to use this component of the model. Not going to use this right now, so we'll store that away for something else. We may be able to put this to use as some kind of a uh, uh, tool shed or something in the compound. Okay, so uh, we're going to get this started, and I'll update you uh, once we have something done. Okay, so this is just an update on the uh, on the tanks. This is a pretty simple model to make. This didn't take too long, but I'll just show you some of the uh, cool stuff. There's these little uh, tank la uh, tank latches here, covers. Uh, they've got the ladder coming up. They've got some uh, little valves on the top. Um, I'm still going to put these. A lock ways on there, like that. There's a few of those to go on. Um, what I really kind of also like, I, I like the piping. I think the piping's cool. Going in between the tanks. I like the, uh, the way the tanks are segregated and sectioned. Looks real. Now, these will all be weathered up and uh, but what I kind of don't like is that base. The base is kind of too, I don't know, too neat or something. But I'll, I'll try to rough it up a bit when we uh, get, it on the, get it on the layout. So I just wanted to update you. These are the uh, adjuvant tanks, gasoline tanks, that will be added, uh, needed to, uh, used to add adjuvant to the uh, ethanol. Um, so that people don't uh, drink it. <laughs> okay, so thought I'd just uh, update you on that. Uh, there's a few other interesting things to do with this project, but uh, I'll update you when I have more. Okay, thanks. I just built some really cool chain leak fence. Okay, have a look here. All right, let's go uh, see how I did it. Okay, so we're going to go through how to make some uh, industrial chain link fence with the uh, razor wire on the top. And uh, to do that, what I have done is they, 
Walther's is included. Um, some of the, well, all the materials that you need in this uh, kit that I'm just building now with the, the gas tanks. But I'll show you the stuff. So these are basically the um, fence posts. So you'll see, let me just get a, let's see, these are the fence posts here. And then there are little angle irons there. So these angles, remember they, they angle out. So the fence has to be on this side and then angling out that way. Okay, so these are the fence posts. We'll show you those in a minute. Now the actual fence material itself is this very fine uh, netting. Um, now I'm sure that uh, Walters has this in a kit form that you can just order for uh, industrial fencing, but we'll show you how to, how to do this. So it comes in sheets like this. And what you have to do is cut them into strips like this which then match the uh, fence posts. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. And they also include these wires. So this is the, basically the razor wire, very thin wire. And they come in pieces about that long. So basically it matches the thickness of one of those, of one of the um, strips that we cut Okay, so here we go. Let's get going and see how we do this. Now I'm gonna do probably one or two fence posts and then fill the rest in so that you're not sitting here watching me do this for hours. But the very first thing I wanna show you is how to cut this stuff. Because it's really not that uh, intuitive. And what you really want to make sure is that uh, this, as the edges are straight. Okay, so I tried to use scissors and I'm just not good enough with scissors. So I have to do it a different way. So I use, what I found is this ruler, it's just a steel ruler and it's actually the perfect, uh, it's a perfect width to match the fence posts. So I thought, okay, I'll use this as my cutting guide. So you wanna line one end up. And then what I do, because I've only got two hands, is I clamp this edge down. Well, this is worth taking a little bit of extra time Sure, everything is lined up. Clamp that down, and then you're going to push really hard on this end. And then you're going to take a very sharp blade. And just run down. Just like that. And there you have your strip. Okay, and that's going to be a pretty good strip. So that's how you do that. And uh, I'm not gonna continue cutting those because you've seen how to do that. So I've got a couple already cut, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to lay in the uh, fence posts. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can see this okay. Just to zoom in a little bit maybe. See, so I've laid the ruler down and I've laid the fence so that it's pretty parallel with it, the edge. And then we're going to 
take a fence post and we're just going to run a bead of this glue and just a little bit. You don't have to have a lot. Okay, so we just have a little bead there. Now that leaves the ends that don't have glue on them, which is good because you can move, maneuver this around a little bit. You don't really want that glue on your fingers when you're doing this. And you're just going to bring this in just as close to the edge as you can. Line this up. Don't get too tense about it not being exact because you're going to use some scissors just to trim that off. Just touch that into place. Now you're going to bring this ruler up against that post. And then we're going to stabilize here and just make sure that that rod is sticking parallel out. Now, you want to just move this a little bit so it doesn't stick to the, to the base. And you take your next one. Fire bead. Now you're just going to slide this one in next to that ruler. Just like that. Bring this one tight. And this is where you get your spacing. And that's the problem of getting that glue on your fingers. You just really want to avoid that if you can. Now you'll see how that's twisted a little bit. So you just stabilize that. Bring in your wires and bring that out like that so that it's going to sit the right way. This one. Now, they suggest that you, uh, in the instructions, they suggest you paint it first. Um, what I found, if you paint it first, then uh, the glue kind of smears the paint all over the place. So I build it, and then I paint it. And it seems to come out pretty darn good. That way even. So this is just a bit of a niggly thing. You just gotta slide that in. Now the beauty is that the ruler brings that uh, off the mat a little bit so that you can actually slide that stuff in there. We just wanna make sure that these are straight as we can get them. And again, spread that out just a tad. Just make sure it's gonna sit right. And just move that a little bit to make sure that it doesn't stick. We'll do one more. We'll get the idea.
And the more you do it really seriously, the better you get at it. I just want to make sure that they don't stick because they they will stick. And sometimes you just got to be patient. Once this glue sets, it's pretty good. It keeps it uh, pretty much in place. Uh, you can see sometimes you fiddle too much with this stuff. And then you end up in big trouble. Okay, so you can see once that glue sets, this is pretty good. I am just gonna just dab a little bit more on these. I'm gonna finish this off. finish these off this whole thing and then I'll show you how I put the wire on back soon okay so I've got the, the one fence line done now I'm gonna show you how to put this wire on and this wire is very thin and it, and it you'll notice it bends very easily you want to try and get it as straight as you can before you start to apply it and put it on. So first thing is we're just going to put a little drip. So we're going to put the bottom one on first. Just a little drip. And there's one each one of these. And we're going to take this. See, I just touched that and it bent. So you really want to try and get it so that it's not bent. And then we're just going to set it on there. Just to move some of these to the right spot. Sorry if this is wiggling. Okay. I'm going to leave that, let that settle and harden on there and then we'll put the next one in. Okay, so we're going to try and, so we've got the first strand on and then we're just going to try and put the second strand on. And we just... You want to make sure you can get this as straight as you can. You want a little tiny curve in this. Really wreaks havoc on you. So what we're going to do is get it into place. Okay. 
here. I just need to separate this just a tad. This just shows you how pernickety this stuff can be. go and now we just leave that okay so as you can see I've uh, been busy here made a few more a uh, few more sections of fence and I'm going to be using this uh, metallic aluminum to uh, paint this fence I'll just show you how to do it you just because uh, you want to do it very, very lightly. You don't want it to all gum up in the fence. So you shake the can, you get it all nice and shaped, and then you just get this thing going. Move it very quickly. Okay. Just gonna turn this around. Like very realistic print. Okay, excellent. That's how you do some pants. I'll show you the finished product here again. And you can make this look rusty if you want, if you just take some rust paint and put on there. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. But very good job. Now you have some fence. Fence in your things and your industrial land. Okay, catch you next time. Hi, I just thought I'd uh, show you this fence in a little better light. Back off. Now I'm trying to do a little bit of a close up on some of this stuff. Pretty good looking fence, actually. What to say? Once I get it back up onto the layout, I'll come back and we'll show you again.